Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to uh, the news from last week, in case you missed it. Thanks again. This is going to be a really short version. I'm running out of time. So I have a few things that I'm working on, so I wanted to get to those. So I'm going to make a really quick one. So let's get started right away. PlayStation 5 looks like there may not be backwards compatible for the PlayStation 3, the PS2, and the PS1 games, according to Ubisoft. Now, Ubi has said that those games will not be able to play on the PS5, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because the Xbox is going to be playing games that go way, 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 way back. Let's hope something changes between them. So that's it. No backwards compatibility for the PS3, 2, and 1 games for Ubisoft. Speaking of PlayStation 5, it looks like it's November 13th is the target date, which all the leakers are saying, everybody's saying, this is rumors, not official statement from Sony, but the PS5 is looking to drop on November 13th. Here's the weird thing. In order for you to pre-order the PlayStation 5, you're gonna have to register for the chance, and it looks like it may be a lottery. I remember reporting a few videos back about how there's gonna be a plentiful supply of PS5s. And that was according to Tom's guide. But now it looks like there may be a limited supply or Sony may be doing something along the lines of seeing what the interest is on how many consoles they probably should produce. Maybe they're trying to do, you know, trying to hit a target. I don't think it's a good idea. I think they should just pump the, the consoles out as best they can. Oh, <clears throat> speaking of PlayStation benefits and so on, well, PlayStation 4 benefits, if you pre-order Black Ops, you will get the Black Ops beta first. Now, this is supposedly set for October 8th. I've got a picture here that shows that they're looking to drop this uh, demo beta on October 8th, and PS4 players are gonna get it first. Xbox players will get it about five days later. So that just shows the relationship that Activision has with Sony. I mean, you're going to see some GTA, GTA uh, stuff that's going to come out before anybody else, too. So just be ready for that kind of thing. It seems Xbox may have PO'd a lot of these publishers with not allowing them to uh, sort of charge again for games that they already had charged for, which I think the community as a whole agree with. Anyway, moving on. We'll talk about that's for another time. Oh, oh speaking of GTA. Man, oh man, oh man, are GTA players crying right now. There was a glitch in GTA Online, which allowed a player to sell and resell a garage apartment combination for $2 million in-game money. They can do this every five minutes. So players were amassing massive amounts of money in-game just by using this exploit. Rockstar has done this in the past. They were just really harsh with this round. They not only wipe their money, they wipe their uh, all their net worth, all their businesses, all their vehicles, and reset their character all the way back to level one with nothing. So they took everything they had in game and just wiped it out for doing the glitch. So if you're thinking about trying the glitch, I wouldn't, I really, really wouldn't. The best practice is just to play this game legit. It's, it's the best way to go. It's just easier that way. On to another disappointing, or rather disappointed community. Madden 21 released last week, or rather this Tuesday. Yeah, they released this week. Was it this Tuesday? I think, no, it was last week. Yeah, it was last week. Yeah, it was last week. I, was, I remember it on the store. Anyway, players in the community are just, they're just basically, to, to, to sum it up, they said it sucks. It's no improvement. They just keep releasing the same game over and over and over again. There's a hashtag that says NFL dump EA, dump EA NFL. I'm, I'm thinking that this is going to be, uh, this might be the last year for Madden. Uh, EA either has got to step their game up and really pull it together, or I, I don't know what they're going to do. The game is plagued with glitches. 
the game looks looks identical to last year, and some and even years before that. Some people are playing Madden 17 and not even bothering with any of the new Maddens. <sighs> what a disappointing! They have such a. And this year was the year to really, really push the football thing because we just don't have any football to you know to watch. So too bad EA. Sorry, uh, Madden community. I guess uh, maybe next year. We got some new games coming out this week. Oh, just two of them. I'm going to mention the other ones were worth mentioning. WRC World Rally Championship 9 coming out September 3rd and big 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 deal Avengers Marvel's Avengers coming out on September 4th. Here's the trailers. Drums in the distance Getting closer, closer. Catching up to you now I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the fall despite saving the day. We failed him. I believe that we are dangerous. There's still a bad guy out there who wants to hurt the world. You're already a hero. The only one left to convince is yourself. We can stop him. Yeah, now we're talking? All units, find the girl. People believe in the Avengers. Your difference is your greatest superpower. No matter how bad things get, you always come together. Aren't you gonna say the thing? What? Avengers assemble. That's going to do it for us this uh, September 1st, 2020, full time here. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you always know when we drop any of our videos. Check us out on the Shadow Corporation Gaming Creator page and also a great discussion group called the Shadow Corporation as well. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.